what is up YouTube obsessionals here I'm gonna be your host just like old times and all the time uh, we have Laura Croft nice we're not gonna summon her though um, the only thing I did off screen was um, I equipped some stuff so that we can get ready for this stupid fight with uh, Night Hardrick if I can get to my screen I equipped some um, Alluring Skulls and Charcoal Pine Resin. I've heard that he is susceptible to Alluring Skulls, so we are going to test this theory. Um, we're just going to kind of wait for him, really. But the only reason I'm kind of just trying to cheese him right now is that I realized I don't have any strong weapons. And trying to go up against this guy with no weapons like this. Like, I haven't upgraded anything, I still have base weapons. It's just, it's a bad idea. Alright, so let's see if this works. Oh, this is so funny, I've never seen this work. Oh gosh. But yeah, he does really good damage. So, you need to be careful for that. Um, a few other things is, he can parry you. Whenever he's got a shield like that, if you just start whacking him to death, he will uh, parry you to bits. He does that lunge attack that will, um, it'll go through most of your hits. So, uh, definitely get you. Your, your weapon in this part of the game is just not strong enough to be able to, uh, stagger him out of that. He does this, uh, power within spell, and that is your chance to go up to him and just try to get him to a back shot. If he doesn't have a shield out, I say you should try to RB spam him to that. Because that's gonna happen if you do. If he's got a shield out. Ooh, okay, he almost got me there. But we're just gonna try to heal up. Run away. Alright. He does have the fun burn, just like that uh, thrall over there that we, we dealt with earlier in the last video. So it does bleed damage right through your shield, so be careful about that. He's got really good poise, so you need to be careful about that. Oh, he tries to try to flash stuff, but he's out of Estus flasks. That is something else to keep in mind. He only has three flasks. So if you can burn through those... Gosh, man. If you can burn through those, you should be okay. Um, I'm just going to try to speed this guy a little bit. Dude, this guy. Keep forgetting this shield doesn't parry. Yep, that is Captain Wing, but also a good time to start getting him. And you can stand in here, and it does heal you too. So you can um, just stand in it and it heals you up. It does heal him up as well, so you should be careful about that. Don't let him get too close to it. He is so close, but he is healing up. This just is no fun anymore. I'm just gonna heal up. Not much. I will take it. So, the reason he became so hard at that very end part is because he uses, uh, he wears the uh, blue tier stone ring and the red tier stone ring. We have the blue tier stone ring, and it increases my damage, absorption, whatever, my uh, health gets low, and the same for him. And he also had the red tier stone ring, which increases his damage output whenever he um, gets low on health. So, it's like a double whammy right there. So I'm pretty sure I missed this crystal lizard, but <clears throat> I'm gonna try to see if I can get him to respawn up here. Because you should be able to get him if you stand on this outside. You should be able to not make him run away. But Knight Hodrick is a jerk, so be wary about that. I guess he's not up here, so I guess we have to quit and quit and reload out of our game. But you guys saw what to do. You, if uh, you spawn at that bonfire, you can just come up here and uh, whack him in the face a few times. But here's this great machete guy I was talking about earlier. He is mean. He's got four hit combos and nothing less. So there's one, two, three, four. So just be careful with these guys. They don't have any poise on like the first hit, I'm gonna say, because they start attacking you after you get that first hit. 
and the pretty does bleed damage, as you can see. So if I get hit like, two more times with that thing, no matter if I have my shield up or not, it's gonna it's gonna cause you know, some massive, massive damage. See, like that's that's, that's ridiculous. Like whenever they were thinking of enemies, I swear Miyazaki was just like, let's just think of some big dudes with a giant machete on the arm. And like, this guy just goes crazy. He is on some serious, serious speed. And that fourth hit. Ooh, ooh, that was nasty. So, as I said, they can drop their machetes, and it's a super good weapon. Um, I do suggest getting like some stuff like the golden clo uh, golden server ring which we'll, we'll get that too i promise you guys i promise we, we're gonna get everything so i'm actually gonna run back and we just i'll explain this part you see the arrows like you know what's gonna happen that's gonna happen um the arrows will totally come for you over here too. so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just heal up and there are two items we want want them and I realized that uh, and that was the biggest fail of my life. Well that was a great way to explain to you guys what not to do. There is an item on uh, that rock that you want to jump onto. We're gonna do that. We just ended up running out of stamina which was another fail. So I know whenever we get to Firelink Shrine that is another thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bump up this endurance because this is getting kind of ridiculous. Oh lord. Oh, my souls are right there. I'll actually go pick these up real fast. Alright, one, two, three, and four. predictable so they're not too tough it's just the damage they do is just ridiculous okay so let's go deal with these guys I'm actually gonna let the giant deal with them so we'll just let them uh, shoot with arrows we're gonna go grab that actually in a second there's another item up here that we can the mortician's ashes so we are going to put that to the shrine handmaiden so you should totally told the roll every time you do that arrow another item up here is all the cleric set which is really nice but we don't have any armor so i will take it i will take it as a gift from god so we are going to watch our stamina this time um there's multiple ways you can get on this thing my preferred way is to just jump right here and we're gonna grab this item as fast as we can, and we are gonna get the hell off this rock. So now that if we get attacked by an arrow, we'll be okay. You can pick up all these items, uh, that's not actually an item that's gonna be in your game. But yeah, just pick up all these items as fast as you can, tap the shit out of your A button, X button, and then uh, occasionally your B button or your square button, whenever you need to uh, block the arrows. And I don't really need that message, but we're just gonna run back because we're gonna go to Firelink Shrine and do something that we should have done a long time ago because we have two Estus Flashbacks. ridiculous. Usually you should be okay whenever you run past that game, but not today. Not today. Man, I was planning on doing a lot in this video, but, you know, I refuse. We're going to still do lots. We're going to get our souls, and we're just going to go to Firelink Shrine. Like, no bullshit. I'm not fucking with you. Okay, I might fuck with you, actually. I want your machete. Like, I'm not going to lie. The more I kill these guys, the more chances I have of getting their machete. I will take it. I just, I'm kind of just wasting these because I don't need them. Like, uh, fire bombs are just not that useful in this game. I mean, they're, they're good for like 
pulling enemies and damaging them and blowing up the barrels, you know, like the uh, gas barrels. Drop it? Did you drop it? No. It's sad day. We uh, got our souls. I'm not even gonna go to the bonfire. We're gonna go to the shrine. And we, um, you guys can kind of done this earlier. Um, I showed you how you can um, get more Estus flasks at the very beginning of the game. I think whenever we got the ring and that shard. So you didn't really need me to do it for you, but you know. I uh, decided to do it now because we have three things to do. Uh -huh. or, how we may have I a lot be of things to do, so We have a lot of NPCs to talk to because we summoned a lot of people back here. So you want to just come in, up and talk to the Shrine Handmaiden and you give her any ashes Gracious. you Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> all right, so I'm actually gonna sell her all of this trash that I do not need. This, this trash. That's trash. All these broken straights went to trash. Um, keep all these for now. This is trash. This is trash, and this is also trash. Uh, this is trash. To me, honestly, every game, every weapon is good in this game. I'm, I'm not gonna like, do not just think that what I'm saying is true. Everything in this game is good. You just have to have the right build for it and whatnot. And I'm just deleting all these shields because they don't do 100% physical damage absorption. So that's really what I look for. Um, I'm gonna keep the blue wooden shield because I can parry with it still. And I prefer to still have something that you can parry with. Um, that's what I was looking for. All these trousers that I don't need. Keep these, maybe. Um, and I think that is it. But I shouldn't want we are more. actually going to check out her new wares uh -huh. that she has. So she got three new embers. She has now the um, charcoal pine resin. Um, we can get some more learning skulls, which I'm going to buy like two of these, maybe. Yeah, two of them. I'll, use, I'll get two of them. I'll get the soapstone because I do um, want to. Uh, I want to get the miracles. I don't know if I'm going to do a miracle build on this account yet, or a magic build, or a pyromancy build. I just don't know what I'm going to do with this guy really for this walkthrough. I really don't know. I've always just kind of randomly started putting stats into my strength and everything. And, Faith and intelligence are really good, but I just don't know which one I want to start pumping into just yet. Um, but yeah, nothing just too useful for her just yet. I shouldn't want. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go up to ah, this guy. Well, Matt, tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? All right, so let's reinforce our flask two times because we have a two Estus class shards and we will pump one of these into here because day, be we're gonna go talk to I guess I'll just go talk to him now because I did that so you all want explanations oh there you are unkindled one I wish to express my gratitude for trusting a lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame as promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you'll need a flame of your own. Oh, how generous. He, he, just, he just gave that to us. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> ha 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 ha. To learn pyromancies, you must vow to become my pupil. I know, I know, but such is the way of the world. Respect your elders and so on. And pyromancy, of course, is no exception. <laughs> oh, we'll need a pyromancy tome to learn more advanced pyromancies. Though unorthodox, that would be the most expedient way to make progress. 
If this were the great swamp and you had the luxury of time, we could have trained you the hard way. <laughs> All right. So basically, he's telling us that he's going to teach us pyromancy. To learn pyromancy. He's going to be <laughs> our um, teacher to do so. Uh, from this, from the get-go, you can get Fireball, Fire Surge, Great Combustion, and Flash Sweat. I'm just gonna get Fireball because it'll be nice to have, and I will upgrade this. No, I will not upgrade this. Do not think because I'm tired of getting smacked by everything and dying by two hits and not being able to kill everything in two hits. So we're gonna do this. And we're gonna go talk to this lady first. Well, we're gonna level well, up our hit. strength real fast to uh, 16 and pump some vigor into myself so I don't die anymore. You know? Uh, mm, mm, is it worth it? Nah, nah, not worth it just yet. Um. We'll bump this up, I guess. No, we'll do it. we're just gonna. This is what I wanted to do. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep. I'm happy with that. Farewell, I was thinking about wanted. that, and now I am happy. Yes, I'm. I'm okay with that. So now ah, we're talking to this guy, and we are going to reinforce our weapons. Reinforce whatever weapon that goes best with your um, your class or your build or whatever you're doing. Um, I never really explained this to you, but if you actually go to, um, you can go over here and you can see how your weapon scales. And if I can get this over here, boom, here we go. You can see that this hammer over here does a C in strength and it doesn't scale with anything else. So that means that I'm going to get C average, um, boost compared, or on top of my base damage that I get with my hammer. So. With my claymore, I get 51 base or 138 base damage, and then I get 20 scaling damage from the D in strength and the D in dexterity. So if we upgrade that, it's gonna go up to 27, or it's gonna go up to 23 now, and then 27. And we don't have any more Titanite shards to mess with that. So I'm gonna call that square. And I'm gonna go talk to this guy uh, one more time. Oh, and you, if you talk to him, you get the welcome gesture. Um, we're gonna reinforce this pyromancy flame just one time. Do not be gone for long. And we are not done at all, nearly. Oh, hello, guy. you're back. <clears throat> and in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> so, he is a petty thief. Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. A nuisance, I know, but it will help me tie up some loose ends. Well, little does he know. Before we make him upset, we're going to see what he sells. He sells arrows. That's all that you should care about. He sells standard arrows and fire arrows for now, and uh, standard bolts. He also sells a dagger, or a bandit knife, long sword, bastard sword, which is actually a pretty good, uh, it's, it's basically another version of a claymore in my opinion. Um, does a little bit more damage, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it does 138 and 20 scaling. It doesn't do as good of scaling as uh, the claymore does, but it does more base damage. Uh, yeah, that's all he sells, so let's make him upset real fast. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> Poor guy. You can keep them. Uh, all right. Um, I'm Goodbye. actually gonna buy some arrows from oh, because <laughs> I was in a little pickle in the last video with all that stuff with uh, that giant mob. So we are gonna, yeah, just do this. 
use these pathetic excuse of souls. <sighs> wow. This is also probably pointless. Okay, it's something. Alright, that should be enough. Oh, and. Uh, no, I don't want to sell you anything. I want to buy your stuff, dude. Yeah, that'll do. Goodbye. Alright. Now that we have 99 arrows. Oh, our champion of Ash. This great guy. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this and assure you of my leal service. So as he said before, he's a sorcerer, so he can... He's gonna give us his service. As I have said, alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps, more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. I'm special? As I have said, okay. but I'm a So basically, pilgrim. he gives you free and level ups. Begin? but at the cost of, of going into beef jerky and getting his ending. So I want his ending. I don't want to look like beef jerky, but I want his ending. So I'll, I'll take it. Like, I'll take it. It's a good, it's a good trade. Um, I'm going to use his level ups for my bigger. Be safe. And he, as I said before, oh, he I... is a good source of early magic. So... If you're wanting to do mage build and you've uh, pumped 22 endurance or uh, 22 into your intelligence, you can use Soul Greatsword or 13 into your intelligence, which is just three for me. And you can use Heavy Soul Arrow, which is pretty good. And we can actually use Soul Arrow and Great Magic Shield and Magic Weapon. And this is actually pretty good to have right now in the beginning of the game. Be because safe. You can just put Shut. magic on your weapon as, as you go. So I um, I might do that. Actually, uh, she sells Sorcerer Catalyst, and do I need any intelligence for it? Hmm. I just got a Pyromancy Fashion. Fine, though, and I upgraded it, so I guess I'll just buy it for now. That way I don't need it for later. And I'm gonna just show off the Pyromancy Flame, and I don't even have enough from that Pathetic Soul. No excuse now. We will buy it. Ash. I will take it. And that is all we have to do here, I believe. There's one more guy actually that's new here that we can talk to. And we can start up his quest line. Um, mm. This is Leonhart. Unkindled, are we? and fast on the trail of the Lords absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. Did you crack cracked red eye orbs? Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> All right. Pillage embers for briefly heightened strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> Alright, he says pillage for a tiny, tiny bit of strength for that moment. So whenever you invade, you get a tiny bit of strength and uh, health. So you can it'll help you out, try to deal with all the gankers that you're going to run into. Because that's what you get when you invade. You're just going to run into people that are using dried fingers and have a whole gank squad going up. So... That's what you're going to deal with. So now that we're done with that, we can go back and we can finish the Undead Settlement. 
Um, we're already at 24 minutes. Hmm. I don't know what I should do here. I don't know if I should go kill the boss, or if I should do that in the next video. It's really not a hard boss, but with my luck, I'm probably going to die. But you know what? That is a risk I am willing to take, because we already got all the items in this little area, so it's just a straight little dash, and we have a new little sword to try out and everything with. And I forgot to do one little important thing that we can do right now. Just equip our pyromancy flame and let's pop that fireball. It doesn't do any damage. Like, honestly, I'm pretty sure fireball or these um, fireballs do more damage than this fireball, but I mean, now I have something to use to get somebody's attention. There's one, two, three, and four. So this claim was pretty awesome. You can charge it up like that, and it does a little uh, horizontal sweep like that. And a strong attack, as you saw, does this um, jab. So it's really good for just fighting horizontally and if you're in tight corner. So I really like this weapon. It gets me through most of the game. It just gets me through the game until I need to do that. Oh, I guess that's a reinforced bomb. I guess that's why I didn't pick it up, because it is garbage. It is literally the club that we started out with, and we really embedded into it. I'm just going to try to get these guys to die with the arrows. Why is he going for me? Go for the other guys. Alright, alright, I'll just use it. I'll work with it. Now he goes for one of them. That's, that's what I'm doing. Get away! Okay. I'm not getting what I want, I guess. Like, I'm just not gonna get what I want. So, what you really want to do is just make a dash into the house. Because as soon as you get into the house, you are safe, but there is two guys waiting in here for you, so you have to make quick work of that guy. And we've got one of these guys before. He's got the sickles, he can go through the field, and I guess I'll just show you. Oh, I guess he can't go through your shield. Oh, I think that, yeah. I, I, I guess he just has to attack you a certain way, but last time I checked, it goes through your shield whenever he did. But I think we patched it to where he has to attack you in a certain angle. But yeah, we just picked up the Great Scythe. It is pretty. It's a pretty neat weapon. Um, it's got a really, it's got a lot of moves. Uh, your hitbox is pretty big on this, but at the same time, it's really not. You have to do it right, and you you can do some damage and get people in some uh, stagger locks with it. So it's pretty nice. Um, so after all of that, we are at basically the other side from whenever we came to the the, the bonfire. The bridge, like there was a bonfire underneath the bridge, I can't think of the exact name, it's literally a bonfire under the bridge or something, but it's right up there, oh, let's see, yep, there's that guy that has that pot with the shield door, I don't know if you can see him, but he's right in the middle of my screen, but the bonfire is right over there, you definitely want to open these doors, you do not want to have to run all the way back just to open these doors. There is going to be an NPC quest line that we have to do in this exact area, and it's a really, really easy place to get to from that bonfire, so you want to do that. Um, I'm actually going to just be embered because I don't to do that, but we didn't have any NPCs to deal with, so this is a um, boss. This is a boss room. What you need to do for this area is just forget all these goons there's going to be lots and lots of goons and you just want to ignore them and you just want to run straight for that tree so whenever that tree turns around he's going to have these little um balloons on his chest and his arms and his legs and they're going to be on his wrists not his like arms and legs but they're going to be on his wrists and they're going to be on 
his ankles, and you need to attack those to actually damage this guy. Um, after you hit this guy, you know, I'll I'll just show you. I'll just I'll just show you what'll happen whenever we pop one of the balloons. So I'm just gonna equip charcoal pine resin and run up to him as fast as we can. Put this right now and just start smacking the balloons. The balloons are what you want. Ignore the guys, stay on this side, and just go for the balloons. That's Whenever you get his little uh, chest plate right there, try to roll that and go for his leg. Oh, I got it. I got it. So I was able to hold his leg in this game with a good point of his health off. So whenever you uh, get that, you just hit him one time basically. You come down here and get him off and do this back. So you want to keep doing the same thing. You're supposed to get the move on the top. We actually got the transposing kiln and we got the soul of uh, the robbing greatwood and the transposing kiln is what we need to make boss weapons it's an old transposing kiln from Corland crafted with stitched crystal lizard hide Gift to Ludith, Lord of Cinder, to conduct soul transposition. This kiln can transpose twisted souls to craft special items with their concentrated essence. Deemed forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. But I guess Ludith is um, definitely uh, okay with it. So this is Hardrick. We came with it. We came down here when I, from that um, Cage Man Serpent dude, and he brought us down here, and we got the Mad Mad Covenant. Mad Maker, Mound Maker's Covenant. I can't talk today. I think I should go to bed. It's like 3 in the morning right now. But he is dead because we dropped on him. And we dropped a giant tree on him. I'm pretty sure that's why he invaded us. Because he didn't want us to uh, come and disturb the Greatwood. Because this is his home, I guess. So there's uh, nothing else to do here. But we are gonna go to the cliff underside. This is the bonfire I couldn't think of, the cliff underside bonfire. And I'm probably gonna cut the video here. And we will actually go and start another NPC quest line and kill the fire demon in the next video and finish the actual rest of the Undead Settlement, and we will make our way. I think it's to the Pharaoh Keep. I don't think it's the Pharaoh Keep. I'm misthinking something. It's the Road of Sacrifice, that's what it is. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys on the next episode.